So why are they here today? I just want you know show you some of the traits of you know someone who is a free thinker, and as you know the common sense family members, we have to you know indulge in you know these traits as well. Be a free thinker, and don't accept everything you hear as truth. Be critical and evaluate what you believe in. These are the words of Aristotle, you know, one of the best minds of all time. I'm about to beg if you don't know Aristotle, or if you don't know Aristotle, go and Google it or go and research. You'll find out who he is. I'm out for a day here today, a day here because more time I hear from the Moshe, the toxic CSF. A common sense family is a free thinking movement yeah and you know I just won't come break that down to you know show people or CSF members a few characteristics or traits of what a free thinker is or what a free thinker is supposed to be you know and before I go on I would like you know greet my viewers and subscribers you know I show for any tier for you know CSF members I'd agree to you free minds family members I'd agree to you and also I would love you know give special you know greetings or you know big shout out to you you know Parkway see or judge free minds of free mind family, you know, because to be honest with you, it's one of the people who has really helped me on this journey, you know, of blogging on this YouTube channel. I'm out for so I just salute you, my general. Yeah, judge free mind. I'm out for me could go on. Yeah, so people I'm out for CSF at the back if I talk something we you know they conform or if I say something that doesn't conform to you know the teachings or the message of CSF or common sense family please leave a comment so you know we can get on from there yeah and most of the times if you say somebody is a free thinker people they think about someone who is anti-religious you know so people even go to the extent of thinking that person is satanic, you know. Some people even know no no one walk on the same grounds that that person has walked on, you know. And all this is due to misconception, you know. And you know, brainwash what we've been taught over the years or from our infancy, you know. But a free thinker is not only someone who's anti-religious. You know, a free thinker is also that uh, someone's conscious, like we say, a conscious person. That person is also a skeptic. You know, do you know what a skeptic is? Yeah, so people, I'm out for CSF. You know, number one, I go like talk say, you know, a free thinker is someone who is, you know, creative. You know, a free thinker is creative, I'm out for. You know, a free thinker is not only an enemy of religions and scammers, but a free thinker, you know, is creative. And, you know, a free thinker looks at things from all perspectives, you know, even challenging his, his, own, his own conclusion. As a free thinker, you challenge your own conclusions and, you know, often relying on the scientific approach. You understand because you know we always ask for evidence or proof of claims as a free thinker you need to do this you know and that is part of being creative as a free thinker I'm out for a free thinker has an active or a healthy mind you, you understand that why Avram Bemushi always talks say Adrina Yejuma what in the he would think you know, even not only about what you think is the answer, you must think about all possible solutions to a question. You know, and 
choose the best option for yourself. Yes, yeah, so people, my mom for CSF, you know, as free thinkers, we must never stop learning. Number two, we must never stop learning. And one thing we had to see say is like a lot of adults or during our, our adults' life, we stop learning. Yeah, because of you know work and a lot of things that life throws at us, you know. But as a free thinker, you have to find the, 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 the time to, you know, update your knowledge on a daily basis. I'm not for, because if you know the land, if you know the, you need know to keep abreast with, you know, new technologies and new forms of knowledge, then it means you are stuck, you know, in the past. I'm not for, we need to be abreast with what's going on around us. You know, you must learn. As a free thinker, almost you know, learn. We always have to ask questions like how and why. You know, if you did talk to somebody, you have to listen carefully. You know, and you know, put your bring up your questions. Why is this so? Why is that so? You know, that is the only way you can. You know. If you want to try to disprove something to someone, one of the best ways is to, you know, question what they're saying. And that way, even before the end of the conversation, they themselves will see that, oh, okay, there's a mistake in the way I've been thinking, or there's a mistake in what I believe in. I will talk say number three, yeah. Free thinkers. You know we have to listen more than we talk yeah a lot of people yeah are loud because yeah they are compensating for their low you know self-esteem or low self-confidence among four but you know the thing is quiet people are busy thinking all of the time you know and as free thinkers see yourself this is how we have to be you know think a lot speak less you know be observant you know we have to look around us see what's going on so we can put one and two together think about it critically you know and that is the way you are going to be ahead of someone who is just you know going up and down a mouthful i don't talk to you only you know enjoy yourself enjoy yourself but you know you have to attend to your brain you have to listen to others watch observe their body language you know and then out of that you can formulate meaningful you know or wise words this is free thinking i'm out for number three as free thinkers we must not argue but you know instead debate i'm out for you see disagreeing is normal yeah we can disagree with friends even close family members you know and it, there's nothing wrong with that it's intellectual activity and free thinkers often engage in that because it sharpens the brain it gives you idea to answer other questions when you are engaged in similar you know you know debates with other people I'm for yeah free thinkers you know op consider they op they consider opposing views before answering questions or before giving their own opinion or views say as a free thinker it doesn't mean that you should go about arguing you know or debating about all the place as a free thinker yeah you know when a debate is worth it you know if it's your idea you have to defend it you know if it's an idea worth defending you have to defend it if you, it's something that you have to do to change somebody's mind or to save somebody from the situation you have to do it you know but you should always you know or as a free thinker from the first few minutes of, of a conversation you should know where this conversation is going so straight away you know should i 
keep on debating you know and come to 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 to, to you know a considerable conclusion or you know should i just keep debating and waste my time why do you want to waste your time so if you see that look this argument or this debate sorry the debate is not worth it well, for you need to leave it free thinkers you know always question authority yes you want question authority you know like never forget this saying don't equate facts with authority it's not true because someone in a in a position in a high position or someone with some sort of authority said it no after my mom will be more research and you know get to the bottom of the truth yeah somebody tell you something you don't believe or it just sounds like a claim to you you have to you know get to the bottom of it also it's like you know rules rules are meant to be broken and the thing is these rules are how it are enforced by authority you know rules are enforced by authority yeah but the thing we say rules are made to be broken are they like rules are made to be broken a month for but the thing we say yeah a lot of people follow the rules yeah because of you know the fear of repercussions or the consequences they will face if they break those rules or if they break the law but the thing is as a free thinker you need to be you know creative to the to, to the level where you can you know go around these rules or you know bend or break these rules without you know actually breaking the law you know or without getting you know yourself into trouble as a free thinker we need to know a lot of things to be honest with you it's like that's why i insist on the learning or the studying part you know you have to learn basically among for free as free thinkers we need to you know learn and learn until we become experts in our craft you know something that you say you're doing as a free thinker you need to be an expert in that number six as free thinkers we need to be yeah like we need to have empathy yeah empathy meaning that we need to be able to put ourselves in other people's shoes to feel their situation you know to feel what they're going through you know we should we just shouldn't say oh this is the way it is and that's the way it has to be sometimes you have to get in other people's shoes and you know through that you can be more sympathetic as well and reasonable you know in dealing with people i'm all for as critical thinkers part of our job is you know to bring solutions to problems we don't have to come make we don't have to come and make the problems worse we have to make them you know simplify them and find solutions my mom for before i go end i go love to say look there is no straightforward way you know to becoming a free thinker you know it's a long long road you have to study learn a lot you know you have to you know become a critical thinker as well you have to 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 know about logical reasoning you have to know about you know fallacies or logical fallacies i'm all for you know it'll be easy you say you you'll be busy all the all the days of your life if you want to be a fair free thinker because most often you'll be getting people who will be challenging you with you know tricky questions they will trick you to say oh you, you say you are you, you you're wise or you know a lot what about this what about that what about that and it's okay to say i don't know if you don't know but if you're calling yourself a critical thinker and you don't know a lot of things i'm for are you really a critical thinker hmm anyway if you're born the righteous messenger way i can't pass through and i just wanted to share you know these characteristics or characteristics or traits yeah that we need to you know wear or have as critical thinkers as members of the common sense family we need these yeah 
I'm out for. Anyway, I will see you for the next video. Peace. Bye. Pan-Africanist, toast we are toast The motherland sick, me doctor diagnosed 